Scotland the whole of golf where the game began more than 600 years ago you know it really should be on everyone's bucket list to come and play here following the footsteps of the greats and uh, play the game as it was meant to be played. After many trips to the beautiful Lynx land of Ireland, we finally have the chance to experience its Celtic sister and the original home of golf, Scotland. Our journey begins in St. Andrews, maybe the epicenter of everything golf. The shops, the pubs, even the ancient statues remind us that we are indeed at the birthplace of golf. People know it the world over as the home of golf, St Andrews, but it's got a lot to offer besides golf. You know, we tell them, try and take things easy, play your 18, there's loads of other things to go and see and do. St Andrews is a great example of that. You've got some lovely old uh, historic buildings, some great architecture, and if that's not your thing, there's some great pubs, some great restaurants, get out, have a bite to eat, experience the, the Scottish hospitality. So here we begin with our old friend Tom. Tom Coyne, that is, the same golfer who wrote A Course Called Ireland, now here to feature another journey, a course called The Kingdom. Together, we embark on a journey to discover what millions of golf fanatics before us have experienced, the incredible golf adventure on the Kingdom of Fife. If you love golf, St. Andrews is more than bucket list. It's essential and not to be missed. And if you are lucky enough to play this magical course on a balmy and windswept afternoon, to enjoy the banter with one of the local caddies, and most of all, to play with your friends, or better yet, play with your dad. Well, this could quite possibly be the greatest round of your life. Well, the great thing about golf in Scotland is that there are these pockets around the country. We've talked about Fife, you know, lots of great golf courses, not just Lynx golf courses up and down the Fife coast, there's uh, some great inland tracks as well. East Lothian, very similar, they call themselves Scotland's Golf Coast. Uh, a number, I think it's about 20 or 21 different courses within a, a, a 10 or 12 mile stretch and it's just a fantastic stretch of coastline. Uh, just to the east of Edinburgh, uh, names that you'll have heard of there are Muirfield and Gullen where the Scottish Open uh, is being played in 2015. Uh, North Berwick, uh, one of the oldest uh, and most uh, copied golf courses in the world. Just a superb stretch of coastline and the great thing about it, you're only half an hour to 40 minutes away from Edinburgh, Scotland's capital, with everything that has to offer from castles and museums and history and restaurants, bars. Really, really great part of the world uh, to go and golf and see and do other things. I was lucky enough to visit Edinburgh as a college student. And to return years later, it was a real joy to find Edinburgh hadn't really changed at all. Still vibrant and friendly. A walk up the Royal Mile will take you through the steep history of Scotland and to Edinburgh Castle, where they are very happy to share with you the great stories of their illustrious past. Well, the great thing about golf in Scotland is the weather is such a part of it. We get we get people coming over and if they get a week of blue skies and no wind, they're, they're disappointed. So, you know, the, the, the wind is, is, a, is a lot of the defence factor for courses over here, the Lynx courses. And if you play it without wind, you're not really getting the full uh, Scottish experience. Yes, it can be a little bit changeable. Sometimes you might have to play in a bit of rain, uh, a little bit of wind, but, uh, you know, it, it's all part of the package. Um, as long as you're coming prepared, then you'll enjoy your golfing experience here. Get a win. Get it. Release. There's a lot more links here. <laughs> so, a little, uh, a little more golf. So everyone's been telling me about King's Barnes. I've been in St. Andrews playing all the courses there, and you hear about King's Barnes, King's Barnes, and I never, never played it, never been here. Uh, and driving in today, what a, 
What a thrill. I mean, the setting is, it's like nothing I've ever seen. And then the clubhouse, uh, small, simple, beautiful, just golf, pro shop, place to have a pine and, and watch the golf. So a great welcome and kind of a great tournament this afternoon. Excited to be here. All right, get out. We were having a par three tournament, and I was one under in that tournament. Now I'm out of that tournament. Shit! Oh, I can't say that on your show. So, you know, you come to Scotland for that kind of fun. You don't get that in America. The Scottish people are known the world over for their hospitality. We like a little bit of fun, we like a drink. I would say if you're coming to golf here, you want to experience some of that as well. Get yourself out to a few pubs. They're always happy to talk and share a drink and, and, and some of their stories. And you're right, some of the characters that, that you meet will be, uh, they, they'll be some of the great experiences that you take away from your golf holiday. Golf in Scotland, another great stop, golfing the world.